You said it as if his name isn't Walking bro, Penis. Walking Penis. <laughs> I totally forgot about that, bro. Yo, what's up, you uh, you ingrates? I'm sorry to insult you as soon as we started the uh, the Let's Play, but it's it's me. It's your it's your favorite Bobby, but Dylan's not here anymore. Who's yeah, here? He's dead. It's, Dylan, me, Joey. It, it's Joe. Yeah, we're kicking off uh, Spooky Season. Playing a, a kind of spooky game. We're playing some medieval. You ever played this one? No, I've actually seen a lot of like PlayStation players love this game, and he's like a PlayStation icon. But I've never touched this game. You oh, think it's I a, would. It's a jam, yeah, for sure. Hold on, one second. Is this supposed to be me? All right. Oh, this is me, cause this is my tomb. Yeah, that's you when you were like alive. Yo, these calves. Oh, real quick, just to, 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 to share with you, because I recently played this game, so I can kind of help you out when you might get stuck or things might be weird. But uh, if you look behind you real quick, there's like a yellow thing. Yeah, there's that, that fairy that's falling. Yeah, no, not that, like the big yellow thing right that? there. Yeah, those are important in the game. That's like how you open doors and shit like that. So anytime you see one of those, doesn't matter the color, you want to pick it up. Pick these up. Just saying. Star Ruin. Fucking cool. I'm going back to these calves. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. He runs funny. Wasn't he in PlayStation All-Stars? Yeah, he's like a PlayStation legend, supposedly. I mean, I didn't play this game until recently. And after I played it, I was kind of I was kind of mad because this is a really fun game. Yeah, I've never touched it either. You know, being a kid, I've always seen these at GameStop. Like, his, his like, his, I, he's an iconic. Like the he, he is, is, yeah. He's a fucking skeleton with one eyeball. Like, and he runs funny. And he's in a PlayStation 1 game. When was the last time you saw a skeleton with any eyeballs? Uh, they don't exist. Exactly. Maybe in like Evil Dead. Yeah, Evil Dead 2 poster. Oh, just a little bit of medieval lore for you. Uh, this is Sir Daniel. He got his eye shot out by uh, by an arrow. And that's that. Yo, weast. We went weast. <laughs> Are you excited for the, uh, the Halloween season? Oh, hell yeah. I'm so excited. I feel like you've only been waiting an entire year for this to happen. I actually, what's funny is I've got a, a holiday calendar that's Nightmare Before Christmas themed, and it looks like the clock in the movie. And it actually comes with like the 365 days left till the Halloween. That's actually kind of cool. And I low key like I started it off as a joke, but then it just became real. And every time you would see my house, if you haven't noticed it, ah, what the hell? <laughs> I don't know what this is. Okay, it's a zombie. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The past year, Bob, if you haven't realized, if you gone to my house and looked at that calendar, the date for next Halloween is actually correct every day. Oh shit. Mhm. Mm I gotta check that out next time I'm there. And it actually says the correct date, and I'm like, yep, I change it all the time. It's It became a joke, and now it just becomes my life. <laughs> Imagine if that's, like, how everything happened. Everything was a joke at first, and then, oh, okay, I'm actually going to do this. Because <laughs> that, that's what it, that's what happened to me, man. <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, I just had children for, for fun. <laughs> I didn't I, know I was actually going to enjoy the little... I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know... I always joked about having <laughs> kids and being a shitty dad, but, you know, being a shitty dad's pretty good. So, real quick, those little green uh, fountains things that are in the ground, that's how you refill your health if you stand uh, in them. I thought yeah. it was related to this hand. And uh, you're going to need to find uh, the earth rune to get in there. Yo, these hands are pretty handy. Hands? <laughs> yeah, that. You nailed that one. Look, I'm going to try it again. Look, look what it does. Look what it does when I get close. No hey, shame. Yo, bro. For that guy. Oh, there's the thing. Oh, shit, bro. You got psyched. It was like the game was like, walk past this, but don't look behind it. And you wow. looked behind it. What a stupid PlayStation 1 era puzzle. You know what's mad funny? Is when you That's take... the red. I don't know my colors. When, <laughs> when you take the rune here, and then you... Uh, there's like a book here that basically... The books are like tutorials that teach you like new mechanics of the game. And the book that, that tries to teach you here is basically like, yo, look behind things. <laughs> There might be something behind things. Stupid. And this is the green ruin. No, that's the... Oh, my God. I really suck you okay my there, colors. Joey? I got mixed between red and green. Joey's not colorblind. Let me just put that out. There. No, I am. I just see Halloween colors. Just black and orange. Ah. Oh, bro. Did you get jump scared right there? These are like PlayStation 1 era like jump scares and like puzzles. You can really tell how dated this game yeah, is. Yeah, right. The game actually has a pretty like... Uh, not like a jagged difficulty increase but it does get pretty hard at that at a certain point but you'll see that there's a there's a mechanic in the game that kind of helps you it's as beautiful. the game gets harder so real quick look to your right Here. that uh, those chalices are important every time you kill an enemy it adds a percentage to the chalice and once it's at a hundred percent you can collect it but typically like in this case 
uh, you have to solve some sort of puzzle to open the gate to be able to collect it once it's at 100%. And those are all I'm going to say is those are very important for the game. Okay, puzzle. So you want to try to get that every time you go into a level. Okay. Is my health regenerating or is that just No, like it cool? does not. It just has it's a little little animation. Yo, do do some light reading right there, bro. Remember, nothing remains hidden under the gaze of an angel. Oh shit. Under the gaze of an angel. So she's facing. Oh, wait, is there. Hit the statue. Oh, Boom, okay. Boom, baby. Yeah. Puzzles, man. Yeah, right. It's the Quantum Conundrum episode. No, not, not, <laughs> never again. Again, no spoilers or anything. What is this game? I don't even know what games oh, are. Oh, this is cool. Mad secrets in here. Boom, you got a life bottle. Now you have two. Yay! Now I can kill more things. Exactly. Exactly. And you see how the percentage is going up? Like now it's at ninety six percent. Pretty soon when oh, it's at a hundred you can go and back then I can and, go and you can get collect it. it. Exactly, exactly. Uh get away. You know what these zombies remind me of? Paranorman zombies. Yeah. The Paran color scheme. Did you watch Paranorman? We watched it in theaters together. That's the one with the gay jock, right? Yeah, that everyone remembers that first. Yeah, because that's the most memorable part when you're like fucking 13 and go to see that movie. Yeah, word. How old were we when we went to go see that movie? I want to look it uh, up. I think I was at my high school sweetheart at the time, so it must have been like 14, 14, maybe? 14, 14, 14, 2012. So that's like Tatiana sophomore was 12, year of high school. I was 16. No, I wasn't that old. I think we were. I mean, Crazy. we weren't cool kids, Joey. <laughs> like, yeah, we were dorks all throughout the years. <laughs> no, don't be fooled by how cool we are now. We were, we're definitely, so cool. We were deaf. Shut up, Joey. Keep the allure. <laughs> I've been, like, aimlessly killing things. Is this what it's like to be dead? <laughs> it's exactly what it's like. So that's how you leave the level, but you didn't get the chalice. I was about to say, I ain't leaving just saying, shit. Just saying. Also, falling in water will kill you, like deep water like that. You can walk in, like, ankle Sh deep water, okay. but oh, oh, anything more. Like that? Yeah, that's actually weird. I did not expect that to happen. What the fuck? <laughs> what happened? Like I oh, drowned, right? N like you went deep, yeah, but then you came back up. It was weird. I haven't seen that, but we're, you're fine. You're good. You're good. That's scary. Maybe the, maybe your game is bugged. Maybe did you buy this at a garage sale? You know who else drowned? Ben. Oh my god, Ben! <laughs> is this Ben? Yo, is this you? I bet it is. Go get the fucking channels. La 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 la. F you. I don't care who you are. Damn. <laughs> oh man, now his family's gonna be like looking for it. Like, <laughs> I know we he was right him. here. We buried him right here. We left the rocks on top when we visited last maybe, time. Maybe, maybe he he's resurrected. Do you do that? Do what? Like uh, when you visit tombstones, do you like put the rock on top? I never knew what that meant. I still don't know what that means. I mean, we did it. I just did it because, like, my family did it. It's like when you visit, you're just supposed to, like, take a stone and put it on to, like, basically show that you visited or whatever. Not that Ooh, not that the cool. dead person is going to see it and be like, oh, Bobby Bobby checked up on me. I appreciate it. You know? I guess I guess my family just thought that was stupid because they never done <laughs> I, it. I wouldn't disagree, Joey. <laughs> I, I really would Like, why? You can also tell if the person's visited just by how fresh the flowers are. I mean, that's if you bring flowers. Yeah, that's true. I just thought about, like, damn, not everyone has the fucking money to buy flowers. Some people just got, like, a fucking classic wood cross as a tomb. <laughs> Some people are just poor. They just show up and they go, yo, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Been a while. Hit the statue. And night. boom. You hit it yo. twice. <laughs> oh, shit. There we go. Yeah, okay, so I get it. Yeah. Blue chalice, got this chalice. Hey, you got the chalice. That's it. Now you can, you can go to the end I of the I won the game, one. right? Uh, yeah, that's it. Let's play over. Nice. No, you can uh you can go to uh the end of the level now. The end of the level is always symbolized by that green mist that was by that little cave. So oh. That's really helpful. So like if you get there, you know where the end of the level is. So if you need to go back and backtrack, you know. You like, know uh, exactly like yeah. the area to go. Shout outs to a uh a game from the nineties being so relevant. Re re rele relevant? God. Relevant. I, I know. You have daggers. You can switch to them by pressing triangle. Yeah. Oh. So now you can throw daggers. And oh, and I have 96. Yeah. And every, not every weapon, but the daggers are one of them that have, like, a special ability if you charge circle. I think if you hold circle, it throws three knives at once. 
And that's the end of the level. A little green smoky walkie. Yo, do I jump in it like Crash Bandicoot? Jump in it. Because this, this is the other cool part of the game. And this is where the chalices come into play. Also, bless you. And that was kind of cool. You, you just had like the quietest sneeze I've ever seen in my life. Oh, yeah. I try to hide them. There was no editing done there. Joey sneezed and you heard nothing. Uh, walk straight and then this motherfucker's going to talk to Yo, you. Yo, shit. Another one's coming. I might have to sneeze during him. This guy's kind of an asshole. Yo, I'm not going to listen to you, though. Oh, fuck you. I like it. I like it. We I'm not going to listen to you if you're right. an asshole. I'm so, going to listen to this guy. That's just the shopkeep. He's cool. He just Fuck you, too. All right. All you need to know about this place is every time you get a chalice, you see that little number up there? Uh -huh. You can come to this area, which is the Hall of Heroes, and one of the statues in this room, in this case the one that's glowing green, will be glowing green, and you can stand in front of it and talk to a fallen hero who will gift you with an item for your journey. This is freaking cool, I don't know why man. I said they're your, but yes. So you can talk to that statue, and he'll give you a little something that'll make the game easier. So that's why you always want to get a child, so you can come here, and this is where you get extra to items. To get an upgrade. Yeah. So to get an upgrade, you have to speak to the fallen heroes. That is a dope, like, And what's kind of cool is, like, when you talk to them, you'll see they're all from different countries, different nationalities. Shout out to Candy Tim. <laughs> The way like he a, speaks, he doesn't have a he doesn't have a jaw, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> you fucking just like try talking right now without moving your jaw. Just talk <laughs> without moving my jaw. Yeah, say. Yo, what's up, Joey? You're out here. Or I'm, I'm, try, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to laugh. <laughs> Don't use your tongue. Don't use your tongue. Just go. <laughs> 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 I don't know what the fuck this guy. Give, give me your crossbow, you. Oh uh, yeah, Candy Tim gives you his crossbow. It's just a new uh, projectile weapon, and it ricochets. Damn, arrows. I thought it was gonna be bigger. It, I, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of fucking tiny, isn't it? <laughs> okay, it, what was his name? Wait, tiny. Is it supposed to be that small? What the that fuck? That shit's <laughs> Maybe it's supposed to be comical that like he gets a tiny ass fucking crossbow. What and was his name? It was Candy tiny? Tim. T Candy. Candy Tim. Look at this shit. He probably <laughs> was a kid. When you're done, you can just sleep through the portal from the room he came in. In uh, the back, you'll see. This is cool. This feels like a a collector's kind of game. It like it, it's. This it's, is almost like do all this shit to get a platinum trophy. Like these are the platinums. The best way I could describe it is like it's not a collectathon like you know like Super Mario or Banjo where you're like looking for things all the time. But it's pretty linear, like Crash, where you go from level to level. But the levels have like, as you'll see in in the rest of the game, each level requires you to solve some sort of overarching puzzle or quest. So the best way to describe it is it almost feels like each individual level is like its own little gameplay mechanic or whatever. You'll see. It's fun. Yo, is this Christmas Town? Yeah, man. Jack. What? What's this? <laughs> Jizz. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Just fucking everywhere. Yo, Cemetery oh. Hill sounds like a band name or a song. Hey, we're at Cemetery Hill now, bro. And you you know when we're gonna when we're gonna do this? In the next episode oh bro you're gonna climb that you're gonna climb oh shit hey, it's yo. the fucking is that the devil why you got like a really curvy body though he's like wearing a corset he is <laughs> it's a thick ass devil that's a thick devil all right we'll see you next episode <laughs>